All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the expression 200 squared minus 199 squared. And to solve this, I'm actually gonna be using three different methods. So make sure to stick out for all three of them to find out which method is the easiest for you. So for method one, what I'm first gonna do is rewrite 200 squared as 199 plus one squared. So now I get 199 plus one squared minus 199 squared. And from here, I can use an algebraic property that states that if I have something in the form a plus b squared, this is equal to a squared plus two ab plus b squared. So 199 plus one squared, I'm gonna write as 199 squared plus two times 199 times one plus one squared. And at the end, I have minus 199 squared. And now this is equal to, you can cancel these two out, two times 199 times one plus one squared. And two times 90, 199 times one is the same thing as two times 199. And one squared is the same thing as one. So I have two times 199. And this is gonna equal 398. And I have this plus one, which is equal to 399. So my answer is 399. And that was method one. Now for method two, I have 200 squared minus 199 squared. And now I'm gonna rewrite 199 as 200 minus one squared. So now I get 200 squared minus 200 minus one squared. And A minus B squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So 200 minus 1 squared is going to equal 2 times 200 times 1 plus 1 squared. And this is equal to 200 squared minus 400 plus 1. And this is equal to 200 squared minus 399. And remember, we have 200 squared minus all of this. So I get 200 squared minus 200 squared minus 399, which is equal to 200 squared minus 200 squared plus 399 because we distribute the negative and these two cancel out, so all I'm left with is 399. Now, finally, for my third and final method, I have 200 squared minus 199 squared, and this time, I'm not gonna change these two, I'm just gonna directly use the algebraic property that states that a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So this turns into 200 plus 199 times 200 minus 199. Now 200 plus 199 is equal to 399. And 200 minus 199 is simply just equal to one. So I get 399 times one and obviously anything times one is itself. So this just results in 399. And this method was probably the easiest one just because it took the least amount of time and the least amount of steps. But thank you for watching and please make sure to subscribe and leave a like.